Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the gear icon within QuickBooks Online. To be clear, sometimes when you open up different screens, you'll get a second gear icon. I'm just referring to the big one in the upper right hand corner. The gear icon in the upper right hand corner is essentially your settings. So on the left hand side, you have your company settings. So specifically settings about your QuickBooks Online, manage users, modifying your form styles, which is a very fancy way of saying modifying the way your invoices, sales receipts, all that good stuff looks. There's a shortcut to your chart of accounts. And then QuickBooks Labs. QuickBooks Labs we won't dive into, but I think it's kind of cool. It's it's kind of the playground where QuickBooks tries different things. If you're the sort of person who enjoys experimenting with stuff, I encourage you to check it out. The second column is your list column. So you have all lists, then you have products and services, recurring transactions, attachments, custom fields, tags. I like the shortcuts down here, but if you click on all lists, you're going to see each of these things on that list. So if it feels daunting, just click on all lists and you'll get a list of all your lists. To the right of that, you have the tools. So you have the ability to order checks. You can order checks to print on your laser printer through QuickBooks. You can also order them from other providers. You can import data. So if you have a, like an Excel list of data, you can import it this way. You can import desktop data from QuickBooks Desktop. You can export data. You can go to your reconciliation screen here, as well as other places. Budgeting, Audit Log, Smart Lock, Resolution Center. Then you have the profile, and this is the profile for yourself. So you can leave feedback. You can change your privacy settings and you can switch company. In the lower right hand corner, you have a blue hyperlink. Mine says switch to business view. Yours might say switch to business view or might say switch to accountant view. All it does is change the gray menu on the left hand side of your screen. Let me just touch on a few of the things that I think you're likely or possibly going to need. If you go to account and settings, this is going to take you to a bunch of account and settings. You'll see all that information on the left hand side of your screen. Let me close this and go back. You have manage users. When I select manage users, it gives me the ability to add a user to my main list of users, or I can add accounting firms. Uh, custom form styles. This, like I said, it's a way that you can change up your invoice templates. I like it a lot. I encourage you to spend some time here. It's really where I go when I feel like I should be working, but I'm not in the mood yet. I'll change the font or the colors or something, and then it kind of propels me to want to work. Let me show you all lists. Like I said before, this is all those lists that you saw. So if you don't know what to click on, just come here and it's a big list of lists. Moving over to the right, um, on the list on the right, you're most likely to use Reconcile, although I imagine all of these are things you might use. So here's your reconciliation screen. If you're not sure how to reconcile, I have a whole video on that, so I won't cover that here. I do want to show you feedback because I like it a lot. If you have feedback to supply, you can type it here. You can also attach a screenshot. I think that's really helpful when I'm trying to describe something. When you send feedback, you don't get a custom response but you do send information to the developers to let them know if things aren't working right or if you'd like to provide a suggestion. And then last but not least, you have switch company. If you're the kind of person who has multiple businesses that you log into, switch company will allow you to switch from business A to business B without signing out and signing back in. I hope this video has been helpful. Please don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and message me if you'd like to see additional videos. Thank you so much and have a great day.